shortly before 10 o'clock, we were dispatched to a working structure fire at 563 Crow's Landing. Um, in route, we had a large column of smoke, um, and we had multiple reports. There was a vehicle on fire that was up against the building or in the building. Um, upon arrival, the first crews reported fire through the roof of the business already. Um, there's a total of six bays. Um, they're kind of double-decker bays, top story for storage, bottom floor for vehicles. Um, right now, it appears it was an accidental cause. Uh, um, there was an, someone working on the vehicle. There was an issue with some fuel, started a fire, and, uh, and then it spread throughout the building. Because of the involvement of fire upon arrival, we went to what we call a defensive mode to protect the buildings around it. And our focus was to protect the main uh, office area where all the records were. The crews did a very good job in doing that. We contained the fire to the shop portion only. And right now, we estimate damage about 500,000. No injuries reported, and uh, everybody's doing okay out here so far. There's tires, you know, um, batteries, car parts, everything stored. It's all collapsed, so it's going to be extensive work for the firefighters. Anytime we're dealing with an auto body, with all the different kind of accelerants there, it's always a danger. Um, every fire is dangerous, but this one in particular, um, there was a, about a 500-gallon propane tank right behind the business that was threatened initially. Uh, that was one of our main concerns with uh, exposure lines, and then uh, just the amount of tires and, and other volatile um, products that are inside makes it a little more dangerous.